There's a guy I follow on Twitter, um, football guy. Uh, really like the stuff he he posts, be it you know clips or just <clears throat> quite intelligent things. It's very cerebral with football, um, I think, and you know it's been nice following him. The other day he posted something about I can't remember what he said verbatim, um, but basically he was saying people who say things like. Um, find a way to win even when things are against you, uh, be it VAR, refereeing, you know, things that go against you that shouldn't have. He said, people who say that, they're ridiculous, you know. Um, basically is what he was saying. Well, I'm one of those people. And today is an example of what I mean. Um, if you watch this channel enough, you know I don't really like to get into referee talk because it's like saying water is wet. We know what it is. You can't change the fact that water is wet. You, you can't. I mean, you can it, freeze it and then it'll get wet again. It, at the end of the day, it's fluid. It's liquid. Um, it's water, you know. And so as bad as we all know it is, at the end of the day, you know, making your own luck, but also put luck to the side. Go get the win. Go get the win. This is Burnley away. I get it. This is not the Sean Dyche where we would sometimes even dread going there. A cold night in Burnley. Well, it was still cold, but this Burnley team, come on. So, and it's also good to get one over Vince and company for obvious reasons. Um, but this is what I mean. And this is what Liverpool is about for real, for real. It, it amazes me the doubt some of our supporters still have about this team. It's almost as if and I left this in the comment section and I want to do some shout outs at the end of this. Um, but uh, it's amazing that it's almost like we have supporters that are like, ah, I don't want to really put my neck on the line and then I look silly later. It's like supporters. That's, that is what you do. You support your squad. I don't, you know what I mean? Like even at this point when we've looked at all the so-called best teams in the league, Who's been as consistent as us? Arsenal, sure, they're up there. And I think that might be, you know, um, the head. I, I think that's it. Um, we'll see what City can do. I don't want to count them out. Of course, we, we know what they're about. We know what they can do. Have shown that they could do. But I'm thinking it's Liverpool, Arsenal. But okay, Arsenal, cool. Nice squad um, from back to front, really. Just really, I mean, I've, I've heard so much about the defense. And I don't really watch Arsenal like that unless they're playing in big games. And even then, I'm not seriously tuning in. But everything that was said about their defense is is pretty it's dead on. But um you know, back to the game, I just I just think we've been spoiled, man, of something. It's weird to me. It really is it's really weird, man, that, that people are so sort of um I don't know, timid, negative. Uh I I don't know. I, I don't even know the words to use to describe some of our supporters, but you know, today is one of those days. You know, you, you have those things that are blatantly going against you. And, um, you know, you just got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. You can't allow that frustration and anger, disappointment, and feel of, oh, this again. Look, you couldn't knock them for feeling that, but it'd be Klopp, us as supporters, the play. you couldn't knock anybody in, in the family, if you will, for feeling that. But you still got to go. It's just like life. You know, there's certain hurdles that you know are going to come. Once they come, you got to figure out how to get around them. You know, you can't just say, oh, man, this, this, this hurdle's here. I can't. I'm going to just go lay down. Like, I can't. I'm, I'm going to give up. You could do that. Um, but and I'm just proud of these boys, man, for, for um, fighting through that adversity, you know. And I don't even want to call it adversity. Just fighting through injustice, I guess you could say, of football, you know. Um, happy supposed lot getting a rest uh, to start the game. Uh, really good for Klopp to do that. I know he's been coming off in, in the last maybe two or three games. Um, and that's good. But still, just, you know, from the jump, I think it's good to to have grab him. It's, particularly in this game. You know what I mean? Like, all due respect to, to Burnley and all that. But we can afford to do that. Um, good to see young Kwanzaa in there. My man Joe Gogo doing his thing on the left. Um, you know, it's a team where the fan base is worried about where we get goals and, and how we're going to do. But it's the next man up. Joe, to back in the team and get the goal? Finally, the one that we actually get, and it's good, and it's no, you know, you chalk that off. No, it, it's good. I mean, that you couldn't write a better script. 
So Jota is back in the team. I still think Klopp is going to be a little patient with him. I could be wrong. He might start him in the next game from the jump. But we know the injury record with, with, with Diogo. That has been the only thing that should be the only thing that anyone has to say negatively about him. Um, but, oh, but today was really about a team, you know, just really digging it out. You know what I mean? And, and finding a way. <clears throat> you know, Nunes should have two goals in this game. And um, people are questioning him. You know, so look, we hope any, I hope every time I see him score, I'm hoping that that gives him the momentum, the know-how, um, the confidence to, to continue to do that. You know what I mean? And that's an excellent, particularly the goal, um, the first, uh, his, his, his goal that counted, um, just a beautiful shot. It almost felt like he was shocked that it went in, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but that's just a beautiful thing. I think. Liverpool fans in unison are, are, just feel so overjoyed for the fellow, man. So not going to be a long video, man. I just want to come on here and just just talk about what I mean when when I say, like, sure, if you guys want to talk about refs, you guys, meaning whoever watched this channel or any Liverpool supporter or whatever, knock yourself out. I'm not going to tell you how to, you know, watch football or react to football. But I'm saying for me, and maybe just to reassure you that it is what it is. You, you cannot help that. And, and, and in light of that, we have one loss. That shouldn't even be a loss this season in the prim. And dudes is really still on some timid, I, I don't think we'll win the league. I, at this point, what do you need to see that we, I don't, I don't get it. City is, and you don't think we can get the better, Aston Villa lost today, which I didn't, after the game, I went to the record store. You know, I needed to, to celebrate the win by getting more records. I have a wax addiction. I love vinyl music. Um, but when I came home, I said, oh, I got to check the scores for the other games. Well, that game, because I saw the other games earlier, but Aston Villa. And before I could check, I said, you know what? I bet United won the game today. I saw the manager's press conference, uh, the, pre -ma the pre-match before I left out. Something about his demeanor and how he was answering those questions as opposed to my man over at Aston Villa, who I love, not going to put him, you know, but they've had two not so great results, a draw and a loss. All due respect to them, they, they, they're they not familiar being where they are. Um, plus, they got other football. Aren't they playing in another competition? So, Unai will have them, they're going to do well this season. I think as long as they have Unai, they could be a team that's not just a flash in the pan. They could be in and around the top four or five as long as he's there. I, I think I rate him that highly. Um, but again, I bring it up to say, what other teams do we have? City's behind. I know they can catch up, but it's really us and Arsenal for me. So are Spurs going to catch us? Are, do, are we expecting that? Um, I mean, you guys tell me, I don't know, but I'm gonna cut this all before it cuts, cuts me off. And, um, one love to everybody, man. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, and, uh, hope your families are well. It's been a lot of people getting sick around me, I guess it's the holiday blues, but, Take care of yourselves, man. You know, protect that immune system. Um, love you guys, man. Oh, shout out to um, I know I'm gonna mess your name up. Running Super Sky, is that your name? Much love to you, bro. I was going back to videos, looking at comments, and because sometimes I miss comments, and the consistency which when you stop by, bro, I really appreciate that. Um, and anyone else who's who who, um, I'm I'm only shouting him out because I feel like it's people like that. It's people like you that compelled me to do this more. You know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't have to be anything major. You know, a few words, we, we, we correspond a little bit here and there. I really appreciate you, bro. More than you know. So, um, anyway, let me get off of here. One love to you guys. See you soon.